Welcome, Welcome to the Atomic Garden. Hello! I'm your host, Kat Templeton. And I'm Carol White. We're here to help you create a beautiful kitchen container design. We're going to create for you today an edible container garden that you can keep just outside your kitchen door or even yes. on your windowsill full of lovely herbs. And won't Samantha next door just get so jealous? She'll just want to sell us all her Tupperwares. So to get started with, Kat, tell us about the three components that we have in our mixing bowls today. So the three components that we have are a soil mixture, a top dressing, as well as a fertilizer. And then, for our plant material, in order to make the perfect container arrangement, you must go by what we like to call the Trinity. The Trinity. And that is our thrillers, our fillers, and our spillers. So something to keep in mind while putting your container together is that you always need to make sure you have more wine. Oh, I oh don't mind if I do. Mm, looks like there's a cobweb in your cup. I think there is. Oh, oh. okay. No, it's just empty. <laughs> just like my soul. Let's get ready to plant. Oh, but before we go any further, I think I'd like just a little top off. Oh, but of course. A little dry. <gasps> Some of the items that we have provided are our container, our planting material, which is parsley, oregano, sage, also have here, ooh, strawberries, cilantro, mmm, cilantro, so tasty. Ooh, fancy bay. I love to have bay in my kitchen containers. It's one of my favorite items. The first parts of the material that we're going to put in is our soil. Now, the soil, when using soil, you want to make sure that you're using a really nice, well-draining soil. And the soil, you really want to have a lot of fluff to it, a nice mix of organic-based material. I also like to use a really nice organic-based fertilizer just to mix in. Something that's for roots is really important. What you really want to focus on is creating an environment within your container that is going to be very similar to the ground outside. When making your arrangement, we call it the trinity, which is our thrillers, fillers, and spillers. I like to keep that towards the back if it's going to go somewhere where you're not going to walk around it. But if you're somewhere where you will see it, or if it sits on a table, I like to keep my thriller centered right in the middle. And then placing all the other material around the side just to kind of see where you want it. I'm going to go ahead and start loosening up the roots on the bottom a little bit. What can happen when planting a container, when you take the new plant out, you can see that some of these roots here, they're going to be a little bit bound up. And if they're too bound up, what can wind up happening is they can encirculate upon themselves and then suffocate the plant in the long run. Loosen, loosen the plant. Okay. To see where I want everybody arranged, all cute and happy. And now what I'm going to do is backfill with more soil. And this is how you have a fabulous garden container. Mm, tasty. Now we got our container garden. It's all beautiful. Finished. So, oh, don't forget the water. 
make sure you apply the water properly, because if you don't, you're gonna get spit. Yeah. So anyways, um, oh, do you smell that? Carol, you had a roll standing on that. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, two unsupervised mid-century housewives in search of a day drink during their planting demonstration. And then a magical, mystical knight shows up and gives them just what they desire. Bizarre, strange, stupid, all this and more, here on the Atomic Garden. <laughs>